Hey everyone, welcome back to my Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a GUI Sudoku solver using Python. In this part, we will be writing the algorithm for solving the Sudoku. If you haven't watched the previous part, where we created the GUI of the program, I recommend you to do so. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Open your IDE. Then, you are good to follow along. Let's declare a variable, which will hold the number of rows or columns. Now, we will write a function, that will check if it is ok to assign a given number, to given row and column. It will take the sudoku, row number, column number, and number as arguments. We will check if same number exists in same row. Use a for loop, in range of 9. If the number at given row, and ith column, equals to num, we will return false. Similarly, we will check if same number exists in same column. Again use a for loop, in range of 9. If number at i row, and given column equals to num, we will return false. Now, we will check if same number exists in its particular 3x3 three three grid. The starting row will be row minus row modulus 3. Similarly, starting column would be column minus column modulus 3. Use two nested for loops, in the range of three. If the number at, start row plus i row, and at start column plus jth column equals to num, we will return false. At the end of function, we will return true, which will get executed, if none of the above conditions are satisfied. Let's write a solve sudoku function, which will assign values to all non-assigned locations. It takes the sudoku matrix, starting row number, and starting column number as arguments. Let's check if row equals to n minus 1, and column equals to n.
If it is, we will return true. This condition will act as base condition, since we will be using recursion. Now we will move to next row, when last column is reached. If column equals to n, we will add 1 to row, and set column back to 0. We will now, check if a number is assigned to current position. If number at given row, and column is greater than 0, we will return the solve sudoku function, for next column. Use a for loop, in range, 1 comma n plus 1, so that we can check for each number from 1 to 9. Now, we will check if it is ok to assign this number, at given row, and column, using the previous function we wrote. If it is ok to assign the number, we will assign it in the pseudo Let's assume this number assigned is correct. We will also check for possibility with next column. Now, in the for loops code block, we will reassign 0, at given position, since our assumption was wrong, and check for next value. Return false, at the end of functions code block. Now, let's write a small function, that will return the solved sudoku, if it is solvable. It will take the sudoku as an argument. Use if condition, to check if sudoku is solvable, starting from 0th row, and 0th column. If it is, we will return sudoku. Else, we will return no. Make sure to save this file in the same folder, as your GUI file is in. Name this file as solver.py. Now, open your GUI file. Import the solver function, from the solver.py file. Let's write to update values function, which will update the cells, and display the solution of sudoku. It will take the sudoku matrix as argument. Call the solver function, and pass the sudoku to it. If solution is not equal to no, we will use a for loop. in range 
2, 11. Inside it, we will use another for loop. In range, 1, 10. Delete the existing values from the cell. Use the insert method to insert the value at zeroth index. The value will be number at rows minus second row, and column minus first column. We are subtracting 2 and 1 respectively since the matrix is 0 indexed. After the for loop, set text of solved label to to sudoku solved, using configure method. In the else part, we will set error labels text to, no solution exists for this sudoku. Now, call the update value function, at the end of get values function, and pass the board matrix to it. So here, our final program is ready. Let's run and see it in action. It is working as expected. So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. I will meet you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.